Hey, what's up guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and I wanted to make this quick video because we've been getting some emails and subscribers asking about what the best compressor is for a mini spray gun. Now, we're just gonna cover small compressors in this video. In the next video, we're gonna cover large compressors for painting a full car, all right? So the first one I'm looking at here is a Campbell. Uh, let's see. Uh, right here, it's a 20 gallon Campbell Haasfeld horizontal uh, electric air compressor, right? Um, and it's pretty, you know, when doing hobby painting automo using automotive spray guns, high volume, low pressure or low volume, low pressure. Now, if you're using a full size spray gun, what I mean is not a mini, you want to make sure you're using a low volume, low pressure spray gun when using these smaller air compressors. And I really don't recommend anything smaller uh, than a 20 gallon because you want some of that air volume reserve when you're painting. Okay, the smaller air tank that you have, the less reserve you have, okay, of stored compressed air, that's gonna give you that spraying time uh, when you're spraying. All right, so imagine using a five gallon or a six gallon tank, a small pancake air compressor, your compressor is gonna be running continuously to pump out air for you, and that's what's called the CFM, SCFM, right? Um, so again, if you're doing motorcycles, car parts, maybe a, a car fender or a mobile, you know, you're doing mobile repairs, a bumper cover or something, you wanna start using at least a 20 gallon uh, or a 30 gallon air compressor. So if we look here, here is a um, basic vertical style and this is the horizontal style. So if you wanna save space in your shop, go for something upright like this, okay? And this is a good deal I found at Walmart, $189. Uh, pretty much the same version as the vertical. And we can look down here, and I have some screenshots to show you. Um, so it says this one delivers, uh, where are the specs on this thing? I don't see any specs, here we go, 20 gallon. This one doesn't really give you much specs. So it gives you four CFM at 90 PSI, five CFM at 40 PSI. When you're painting, we're only painting at 20, three sometimes on rare instances. Uh, if you're using a mini gun, you're gonna be spraying at a lot less air volume, air pressure, because you're you know doing small areas and you're doing graphics and stuff. So you're really only painting at about 25, 26, 27 PSI uh, continuous airflow. So you're not even gonna be using 40 PSI. And sometimes the gun rating says, you know, seven to 12 PSI um, CFM rating right? But that's just the, you know, all of these readings here are just kind of give you a, a guideline. It's not what you're actually going to be painting with. You know what I'm saying? It, it's kind of tricky and gray in some areas, but just know that if you're using a 20 or 30 gallon air compressor like this, here's a 30 gallon. Um, let me go down here. I think this one has a better description. Hold on. And, and it sh actually shows you. Here we go. So if we look at painting pressure here, this little chart here, you're going to see that, hey, it's telling you you need at least a 20 or 30 gallon volume size of air tank to be able to do some painting. Okay, grinding is going to take a lot more air, air. Okay, and then sanding is going to take even more. You're going to want, you know, because sanding, if you're sanding with a 30 gallon air tank, it's going to be, it's going to die out really quickly because it needs a lot of air to basically feed that air sander, the DA, okay? If you look at up here, inflation, yeah, no problem. You can use a pancake air compressor, okay? So this is kind of like a good gauge to look at. And we're looking at a 20 gallon air compressor here. So let's take a look at the, uh, this is a Husky 30 gallon. All right, um, it doesn't give you that chart that Campbell does, which is very cool, by the way. And if you look at the X16 here, um, operating pressure is four to seven CFM, okay, at 20 to 29 PSI. So again, it depends. If you have a small air pattern, right, a narrow air fan width that you're doing graphics with or you're doing some little things with, you're going to need a lot less air. If you're using a larger fan pattern, you're going to need a little bit more air. But 
a 20 or 30 gallon for a mini spray gun like this or the Atom X9, okay, which is the new side feed spray gun. Let me see if we have it here. Uh, is more than enough, okay, for painting motor complete motorcycles, gas tanks, helmets, uh, DIY projects, and everything in between. Okay, so if you have the money, um, get a 30 gallon because having more than than not enough is always better. You know, I would also recommend Campbell is a pretty good brand. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find a 30 gallon um, in the Campbell here. Uh, let's see, what is this? Eight gallon, six gallon, 20 gallon, 13, 20. Doesn't look like there's any. Here's a 26, 26 gallon vertical for 329. You know, not a bad price, but this is going to give you a lot more volume um, for overall painting. You know what I mean? So this would be something good. <clears throat> and let me, let me get back to like a main <clears throat> Sorry, a main idea here. I've painted a complete car with a 30 gallon Craftsman air compressor in the past. All right, you're going to have to. There was another chart that I saw here that was really, really good. It might be this one. Here, check this out. So, this is a 30 gallon um, two stage, which means it has two little pistons here, okay, which means it, it could pump out your air, pump out air quicker. And it's, this is an ultra quiet version. I've never heard this version, so I don't know. But it's something that you might want to look into. Husky's a pretty good brand. I mean, I like Husky. They have, they have, you know, good tools. So let's take a look at this chart here. So if we look at painting, high volume, low pressure, it's going to be intermittent. So like I said that I painted a hot, a full complete car once or twice, probably a few times with a 30 gallon air compressor. And I was doing a single stage enamel paint job. Uh, you're going to have to play catch up. And this is exactly what I mean by playing catch up because you're going to run out of air volume, you know, every couple of pounds. You're going to have to wait a minute or two for the air compressor to catch back up, to fill back up so you can start spraying again because you don't want to be spraying at very low air pressure. It's not going to atomize your paint very well. All right. So, and this is a high volume, low pressure gun. This is why you're going to want to use a low volume, low pressure spray gun, something like the Atom X20 or X21 or X27 low volume, low pressure. Unfortunately, uh, they're sold out of the X27s right now, but it consumes a lot less air pressure. So it'll give you, you know, longer lasting spray times, okay? Ideally, you wanna get a 60 gallon air compressor tank size for painting a complete car. You're not gonna have any problems with that. So this is a great chart to look at as well. Intermittent, it's telling you there, um, like I said, if you're using any of these types of air tanks, 20, 30 gallon, you want to use, if you if you have a full size spray gun, okay, like a large full size, not a mini, you want to use a low volume, low pressure spray gun, okay? You can use a high volume, low pressure like the X16 with these tanks though. You can because it requires a lot less CFM to operate the mini spray gun because it's smaller. You've got a small tip size, you know, it's a small gun. So it requires a lot less volume to operate. All right, so it's Tony here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel here. Uh, click up over here if you wanna get a free 85 page auto body paint manual uh, or down below if you are on a desktop. And um, leave your comments and questions below. I'll talk to you soon, have a good day. The next video will be a little bit more in depth on larger air compressors and which ones I recommend. Uh, but I do like the Campbell. Campbell's a good brand. Uh, they have good products. Husky's also good as well. Um, again, it depends where you are. If you wanna spend a little bit more money and get a brand name, you can, but it's not necessary. All right, talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.